A Broward County teacher and football coach in serious trouble tonight. He's accused of trying to lure a student into a sex act, and police are worried there could be other victims. CBS 4's Kerry Codd is live for us in Pembroke Pines with a story tonight. Kerry. That's right. Pembroke Pines police say that they brought this teacher and football coach Leverick Johnson here to the police department today. They say they went through his phone and found incriminating text messages between him and a 13 year old student at his school. Tonight, Johnson is under arrest. Leverick Johnson is accused of taking advantage of his position to proposition and solicit sex from one of his 13 year old students. According to Pembroke Pines Police, Johnson works as a middle school teacher and junior varsity football coach at Somerset Academy in Western Pembroke Pines, where Johnson befriended his 13 year old student, a police report said, and requested for her social media information and cellular number. Police say Johnson expressed the importance of keeping their relationship a secret with the child and inquired when the child is home alone so that they can smoke marijuana together. Police say Johnson requested photos of the 13 year old and asked her if she found him attractive. At one point, the police report says the victim expressed her concern in regards to their age, at which point Johnson responded, I am grown and longest you act mature and let me teach you things, you'll be just fine. An internet search revealed that Johnson played high school football at Miami Northwestern and played college football at Western Kentucky University. Investigators say that on two occasions, Johnson grabbed the buttocks of the 13-year-old girl while at school. And here's more disturbing details. Police say Johnson summoned the victim to meet him in a staircase near his classroom where he knows that there is no surveillance camera so that he could receive a sex act from the child. And according to the police report, the victim told investigators that she did not engage in any sexual acts with Johnson. Pembroke Pines police say parents should try to keep tabs on who their children are talking to on social media, through text, through email. Also, they say that if you fear your child might have had inappropriate contact or communication with Johnson, you should call the Pembroke Pines Police Department. Live in Pines, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.